In this video I want to show a simple voltage controlled oscillator. It generates more or less a square wave and I think the form of the wave is uh, usable or usable enough to drive uh, another circuit. For instance uh, a MOSFET or so. In fact it's a uh, high stable multivibrator like I've showed it earlier on my channel but I use now PNP transistors to um, get a proper connection to ground and an easy uh, way to uh, connect the varying uh, voltage that drives the oscillator. This voltage is now um, generated opposite to ground and therefore I had to use PNP transistors. This is C2, this is C1 and when we vary the voltage here we change the uh, voltage on the two base connections of the transistors and that has a very big effect on the frequency. The input circuit can also be made in this way with a potentiometer now I connected the input to this uh, power supply and the output to this uh, frequency meter. I hope you can hear it, the frequency that's generated now. Uh, when I lower the voltage, the frequency will go down. little bit distortion. It's from the speaker from the uh, signal tracer. You can see that with two uh, capacitors from 100 nanofarad the maximum frequency is approximately 24 kilohertz. This is the waveform. I think it's usable to drive uh, another device. Now I change the frequency. This is the power supply to the generator. It's uh, approximately 12 volts. And with um, the different capacitors you can generate these frequencies. I hope it's visible. So with a capacitor from 100 nanofarad, these are the generated frequencies at certain input voltages. So at um, 73, no, uh, 37 volts, it's 24 kilohertz and at 15 volts it's 2 kilohertz. And this is a waveform that belongs to the 100 nanofarad capacitor. And when you use a capacitor of 3.4 microfarad, non-polar, these are the generated frequencies. At 14 volts it's uh, 51 Hertz and at um, 3 7 volts it's 622 Hertz so when you make this in a graph you can see which uh, frequency this circuit generates at different um, input voltages of course you can also get other frequencies, but then you have to change uh, the value from C1 and C2. In fact it's a very simple circuit consisting of two PMP transistors. And of course when you want to make this properly you um, 
can make this on uh, a normal uh, vinyl resin board. Also, this is only an uh, experimental circuit, but it shows the properties. I wish you luck. <laughs>